last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. They were gifted to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the night of Isra wal Mi'raj from under the treasures of the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. No nation before our nation was given something similar to those last verses. And we are told that whoever recites them before he goes to sleep, Allah will take care of him. Allah is sufficient for him. All of your needs, your worries, your griefs, all of the issues that you have, if you make it a habit to recite the last verses of Baqarah, what is the very last verse of Surah Al-Baqarah? لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah does not place on you a burden more than what you can bear. Every single problem that you have, every worry that you have, every grief that you have, and we all have worries and griefs, realize one thing, listen carefully. Allah is putting on you a burden only as much as you have the power to carry. The very fact that you're in the amount of trouble and grief and worry that you're in, know that Allah already knows that you have the strength, the determination, the fortitude, the courage, the faith to handle all of those worries. If you didn't have that, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So whatever your situation is, whatever your, your feelings are, realize Allah has tested me because He knows I can pass the test. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعا. Allah never sets up a person for failure. Never. Anything that you are in, know that you have the capacity, the capability by the pleasure and blessings of Allah to earn an A plus in any exam. But you need to turn to Allah and you need to strive to get out of that situation. And then Allah finishes Surah Al-Baqarah with a beautiful dua. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, every time the servant recites this dua, Allah says, I have given it to you. I have given it to you. I have given it to you. This is a guaranteed dua, which we need to memorize once again and recite every single night. Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina aw akhta'na. Oh our Lord, do not call us to task if we forget, if we make a mistake. I sometimes do something wrong because I forget it. Sometimes I do something wrong because I intentionally wanted to do it and it's a mistake. Rabbana wala do not put a burden on us more than what we can bear. Oh Allah, forgive us, pardon us, have mercy on us. Anta Mawlana, you are our Lord and Master and Protector. Mawla is the one who protects. Mawla is the one who you turn to when you're in trouble. Anta Mawlana, you are our Mawla. And so help us, O oh Allah, against anybody who is going to harm us. Anybody who is our enemy, O oh Allah, you are our Mawla.